strong. Okay, uh, welcome to my channel, and today I will be teaching you how to make nice interior wall designs. And what, how did I come up with this concept? Um, someone on YouTube, Beauty Girl, posted this comment, which I quote, "Um, could you help me teach things like that?" And I decided, yes, let me just find a way, and I came up with something really simple. Not so hard, but by the end of the day, you should, you should be a pro at this. So, um, I'm using Blender 3.3 as you can see here, um, which is the latest version for Blender. Um, it doesn't have that much features like the one of Blender 3.0, but I really guarantee you it has some new hair, um, hair, some new hair nose and new hair textures. So, um, I will recommend it for you very nice. So, let's get started. So we're not gonna need the camera. We might need it, but for the sunlight, we're not gonna use that. So I'm just gonna zoom in. I'm gonna click on the object and I'm gonna edit mode. I'm gonna jump into face select. Click here, click here, or you can drag. And I'm gonna delete the faces to give us a kind of opening in the middle over here so we can have that nice kind of opening so we can see our walls. I'm gonna click on some here, bring this up here, it would be really really nice, and yeah, I'm gonna go to our modifiers, I'm gonna click solidify modifier, I'm gonna get this about 0.12, now there's something you notice about solidify modifiers, um, they kinda don't give you that kind of equal shape, kinda give you that B shape, but as you know, as is here, kinda gets wider until it gets thinner. Which is not what we want. So what we you do, we're gonna click on even second and you see it's now equal. Give that kind of even nice. We got that. So I'm gonna apply all. I think that's a new feature of 3.3. Um, I haven't yet explored everything, but I hope in my journey of Blender I will. So uh, what I'm gonna do is that there's something I'm gonna tell you guys about. It's about textures. Um, yeah. So. What we're gonna use we're gonna use textures, we're gonna use um word properties and we're gonna use some other UV wrapping. Now these are basically simple things you can do and learn, which I'm gonna teach you guys. And you can get these textures from Polyhaven, Polygon or MBNCG.com. With this a really good site to get free and available textures, HDRI, models, anything you want concerning your modeling processes or if you're into interior designing lighting things like that I'm gonna teach you in this video now okay and now I'm just gonna show you something which I made kind of in my you know kind of in my blender um where is it yeah take something like this I kind of made this kind of nice interior designing which is actually kind of nice. I don't know what's happening. It's not showing. So I'm just gonna click on it. Yeah. Give it time. It's gonna open. That's really a nice photo. I think this should be it. Okay, so um, th this was the you know interior design which I made in Blender. It's really really cool, not so hard. I, I thought I made a TV, the bookshelf, the bed, the pillow, the wardrobe over here, and I had a kind of nice lighting, which um it gives that kind of brightness here, but here is a little bit dark, which I, I really like. So this is kind of the wall design you would like to have, and you have to have a very good PC for rendering so that's what I'm going to teach you today how to make this kind of wall design and on my next video I'm going to teach you how to make interior designs like this so I'm just I was just going to give a sneak peek sorry it took so long I don't know what's happening to my computer so what I'm going to do I'm going to just do something simple I'm just going to give an example I'm going to click add I'm going to click on spots for some reason spots have become one of my 
most used lightings. I don't know why. Like, I'm not gonna use it. I'm gonna try another one, which we're gonna use is let's use come the point you see point that will give the nice uh, raises up let's give the zoom in and i'm gonna get some here range is here and if you see if we jump into rendering and just give it time to get load we can see we have this kind of nice lighting over here. Now let's see if I increase it. So we have that kind of nice depth, but this is exactly what we want. But the only problem is that is an EV, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to change it to cycles to show you how it's going to look like. Now in cycles, it gives this kind of nice look which is really cool and if I kind of bring this over here and I duplicate another object bring this one over here I kind of increase this one we we'll actually get a nice reduce this one we get a nice brighter area over here which is really really nice what I want and that's just like it for you so what I'm just gonna do is that I'm gonna jump into um, our you know textures. Let me see. Now there are various of textures you can use. Let me just show you some of it. Um, I have so many textures. I have brick textures which I got them from Ambient. After you've done, you extract the files and you get textures. So um, what we're gonna do? We're gonna use this. Let's go with the wood floor textures it's gonna be nice and we're gonna try what properties but let's try what properties first I would like it so let's get started I'm gonna click on this and I'm gonna go to what properties I'm gonna click on our base color and we're gonna go with something like red and I'm gonna go with I'm gonna increase the metallic a little bit yeah I'm gonna reduce the roughness with 0.4 462 and I'm just gonna add in a little bit of lighting but I don't know what's happening to my spot I really love this spot but I don't know what's going on today it's like it doesn't like me today <laughs> so that's very funny so I'm gonna use something like Sun Sun 2 is also good um for lighting it gives that kind of nice pop which I like so I'm gonna direct it over here I'm gonna bring this here yeah and I'm gonna jump into this now we have kind of nice cool red wall but if I increase the strength of the lights we have this I'm gonna reduce the color of our background so we can get that nice kind of brightness over here and of all the ears and this is what we have um but we are in it we aren't yet done because this is not it's just uh how to do it in war properties i'm gonna go back and we're gonna change the settings for this so what you're gonna do is that you're gonna open another one like this no you don't like that it's really simple i'm just gonna go here Yes, like this. Keyframe. Go here to 3D. Yeah. I'm gonna zoom in like this. And I'm gonna bring this one here. And take this one down here. This is how to kind of divide it. I just want to give it a nice layer over there. Really good. I'm gonna open this one and. Joint areas, and let me just click here. Joint areas, and you're gonna bring this down here. Yeah, this is nice. So yeah, 
what we're gonna do. So what I'm gonna do is that we're gonna jump into shading. Now shading is not really really hard, but it's simple. I'm just gonna click on this, and what you see is that we have this kind of, and what you see is that we have this kind of no geometry over here. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna click on add, and we're gonna add in image textures. And yeah. So yeah. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna insert the color into color base, cause the color has been wiped out and it turns to this kind of black thing over here. So I'm gonna add in a mapping and a texture coordinate. So I'm just gonna bring the coordinates over here and add in a mapping. I'll add the UV vector. Vector. So I'm gonna click on open and I'm gonna jump into my blender textures. I have so many. After you're done extracting the files, let's go something like wood 54. You go to wood 54 color and you time give this kind of nice realistic thing we have here. But I'm gonna change it because I don't like it. So uh, I'm gonna give it something like really I want something smooth. Let's give it wood 52 color. Yeah, this is what we want. But I think it's kind of weird. But we are still gonna change it a little bit. Yeah, to give a nice kind of wall. Okay, so what we're gonna do is X. What X does? X scale changes the scale of the wood. You know, kind of the wood lining on the wall if you see if i click on y everything on the y axis kind of moves so that's the way it does and if i click on x everything on the x axis kind of move too so i'm just gonna undo i'm gonna undo the history so we're gonna live like this um yeah 18400 and we're gonna increase that and yeah so that's okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to click on this i'm going to duplicate it again i'm going to click on two click again and on our wood 52 i'm just going to go down i'm going to add in the roughness and this brings the floor to pop out really. so i'm going to change it to non-color and don't worry if it shows why this the comeback look I'm gonna insert this vector into vector, the same mapping node, and I'm gonna click here, duplicate another one, and I'm gonna click two, click this, and we're gonna add in a displacement, which is over here. That's nice. So I'm gonna bring this down, and I'm gonna add this. And what we need is that we need a bump, uh, which is in compressor or vector. Bump. But let's put this bump here. Add a color into height, the normal into normal. Give time. We have like a wood wall. I want to reduce the strength because it's kind of too much. And I'm gonna give it distance between 0.1. And that's nice. So we have ourselves a nice, good wall. Now, if I just give it a camera view, um, click on my camera over here, over here. Let's just give it a nice zoom. Um, something like this. If we go out of this and we zoom in closer, and we go to our render settings, we have this nice realistic wall we have this is really really cool what i like but the position of the sun is not that good so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go back to get it some nice lighting so we're gonna click here go here and yeah i'm gonna click on add i'm gonna add in aerial lights and zoom 
and you're about to say something like dance. Sounds like far away. Yeah. So, if we go here, zoom in, we get this. So, um, I really appreciate it. Let's get this down a little bit. Play with me like cats and a string. You don't understand the pain of brain. You don't ever want kind of mix various of colors. So if you like this video, um you can leave a like and subscribe. And this is how to make realistic walls and blender. If you if you don't want to change the color, it's your choice. You can leave it in white, I can leave it in white. Give me a nice look too. But I think I'll yeah I like to leave it in white to get a nice look too. So if you like this video, you can leave a like and subscribe. Tell your friends about it, really cool. And once you're done, you can just render your file. Just go here, click your samples, 50 and 500, and then you click on render and you get your rendering done. So um, I thank you guys very much and adios, sign up for Virtual Rookie.